Hey everyone, it's Brett of Booster Therapy. Welcome back to the channel and to a new month, October 2020. We have a new giveaway. This month, Booster Therapy is hooking you up with some wonderful swag. You get a beautiful knit beanie, a playmat with a beautiful stitch border, and a beautiful little bag of dice. That's right, Booster Therapy dice. And all you have to do is like, comment, subscribe to the channel, and at the end of the month, we're going to pick one lucky winner who has done all of those things. And again, every video is a chance to enter to win those wonderful prizes. So hopefully, we see you in the comments. We love to interact with everyone who's a part of the channel. And enjoy the video. Welcome back to Booster Therapy, your cure for that pack cracking addiction. We have got some Ikoria pre-release packs. I uh, haven't done these for quite a while, probably since Ikoria. I think we did a few of them there. And uh, we're bringing them back. I got these for um, pretty cheap, to be honest with you. And I uh, was able to keep that price nice and low for our patrons. And we had uh, a great patron of the channel decide to give these a shot. We've got five of them here, I believe. We've got a cool little dice. And these ones are all going to be for our patron, Ryan. Ryan the Butcher Man is coming in hot. He is hoping to be able to get something real nice out of these. And uh, we'll see what we can do. Let's make sure to keep that covered there. Because you get the promo pack as well. And then you get the boosty packs. So let's jump right into it. Uh, I think Shark Typhoon in the rare slot is probably the biggest hit you could get out of this. Set, uh, at least so far, has definitely struggled as far as value. But there's uh, there's still some good stuff in here. Luminous Brood Moth is probably one of my favorite cards out of the set. Heartless Act, that's actually a really nice card. And the Sea Dasher Octopus. Put you right there. But yeah, Mythic Wise, um, Fiend Artisan, Luminous Brood Moth, uh, Vivian Monsters Advocate, Kinnon. And then you do have all the Triomes as well. Those are kind of in the, I think, $4 to $7 range. So we'll definitely be taking a look. Um, to see if we can hit those as well. Force. Oh, speak of the devil. Savai Triome. That is a very nice hit. Ooh, and a foil. Yorian Sky Nomad. That is an awesome companion card. Well done. Well done on that. But yeah, these are always super fun to open. Uh, I definitely enjoy them. Of course, with Bizarro 2020. Not a whole lot of uh, in-person action on so many of these sets, which is sad. Polywog. And Lutri, the Spell Chaser, your Elemental Otter companion. Yeah, they kind of had to smoke and kill the companions. It was uh, a little bit too powerful, so they, of course, had to change the mechanics on that quite a bit. It was the right move after they made the wrong move. Porky Parrot. Ooh, and another Sea Dasher Octopus. This time it is the Showcase version. And that looks really cool. And an Adventurous Impulse in the foil slot. So you got two more packs here, Ryan. But don't worry, we've got plenty more of these to go. For your viewing pleasure. Sprite Dragon. That's actually another solid uncommon. Morgan Crystal, and the Quartzwood Crasher, big old trampley boy, with a foil chittering harvester. Camera, figure it out, doesn't like the foil. Alright, last regular pack here. And then we'll see what you get on your promo. Get protocol and the Everquill Phoenix. I feel like they've got a Phoenix in just about every set. All right, let's go ahead and grab these. I think the yeah. Let's make sure to hide the promo there. And then also does come with if you haven't seen these before, we haven't done these for a while. These little punch outs as well. They're a little bit thicker um, card stock on that. Which is kind of cool. Let's take a look at the promo. It's going to be... Ooh, a Slither Wisp. Very nice for your flash decks. That is stamped in April of 2020. Just in the beginning 
of the good old virus. So there's your first one. Let's uh, let's grab a couple more. All right, here we go. Got it sliced open already as well. But hopefully the day is treating you well, guys. And uh, as I always like to say, if it's not, hopefully it starts treating you a little bit better. That's all we can hope for, isn't it? All right, let's get this guy opened up. Let's pull out our packs and our dice and all our fun stuff. We got a green dice this time with the uh, Ikoria symbol on there. Put you up top. I think we're protected there. Yep, and we'll jump right into the packs. So good luck once again to Ryan. Come on, baby. See that shark typhoon. Uh, oh, it's the dirge bat. Another mutator. Good old dirgy. Come on. Triomes, typhoons, mythics. See something fun back there. I don't know what it is though. Ooh, hopefully it's something good. Oh, nice! It's a gem razor. The sweet comic book style that they did on this. Very cool. I don't know. I appreciated this set. I know some people hated it, but I thought it was kind of a cool set. There's definitely some potential upside for as much as this uh, got hated on. And another Quartzwood Crusher. There's a foil behind there. And Day Squad Marshall for our foily. Come on, Shark Typhoon. And to the Mythos of Aluna. A Seb McKinnon beautiful artwork and a nice looking foil Sprite Dragon. Very cool. Right, two more regular packs left of this. And another Lutri. Lutri the Spell Chaser. Yeah, that's right. We don't spoil it yet. It'll give us a little bit of a, a little bit of a buffer there to be able to split that up. And, oh, and weird. Two showcase gem razors in the same one. That has got to be very strange. A little bit unusual there. Pull these off camera just so you can't see the code. I'll actually just tuck that away. There we go. All right, let's see what you get. And you're going to get a Sky Cat Sovereign. Very underrated card. Super, super effective. Definitely a cool one. All right, we're tossing more things around. We've got another one to open up here. Let's grab our handy dandy blade and cut off the screen and continue on. So we are on number three of five. I believe it's five. Yeah, we got five. Five of these bad boys. Again, we'll go reverse order here so we don't reveal the promo right away. And what dice do we have this time? We've got the white dice this time. And again, we'll pull these off to the side just to make life a little bit easier on us. We got that guy. We got this guy again. And we got a little pack up there. All right, let's go. A little bit more organizing you have to do with these than just opening up a regular draft booster. You can see another showcase behind here. What is it going to be? Oh, we got an Obosh, the Prey Piercer. One of the cooler companions, in my opinion. <laughs> another Gem Razor. Oh, my God. This time a beautiful foil, though. That looks sweet. Well done on the gem razor as well. If you uh, were looking for gem razor, I think you found it. It's actually a pretty nice commander card. If you can make it work. 
does take out artifact or enchantment when it comes in. Beefs up some of your guys. Ooh, Kogla, the Titan Ape. And a Shredded Sails. Man, yeah, Gem Razor's just left and right here. What are you up to, three or four? I can't even remember you've opened so many now. And two, what do we got? Ooh, Kahira. Kahira, I've actually been playing a Celestia um, Kahira deck online for Standard lately. Uh, it's been going pretty good. Still no Mythics though, am I mistaken? I don't think so. We are Mythicless. We're gonna have to change that. Green Harvester, ooh, and a Ruinous Ultimatum. Destroy all non-land permanents your opponents control. Pretty huge one-sided board wipe. Not just creatures, non-land permanents. That is significant. And, ooh, beautiful showcase in Dantha uh, Triome. That's awesome. Fantastic hit. That's what you like to see, those triomes. Lands are always good. Nothing flashy about them, but they are always effective. Back for more. And the Hunted Nightmare. This is one that Brett and I both agree is a pretty good card, and I wonder if we could find a way to get some play in standard at some point. If people are able to get uh, creative. Let's take a look at your promo. Ooh, Garuda Doom of Depths. Another gorgeous looking foiled out companion. Really cool. All right. Well, let's grab another one and keep going. All right. Just grabbed another one and sliced it on open. Slide this baby out. Got a little bit of a process now, hopefully. Let's see how we do this time. So we'll grab these, pull them off camera, and oh, another different colored dice. We got the black one this time. Very cool. Let's grab our packs. And then let the separating process begin here. So we don't give up any of your secret codes. There's your promo. I don't yet know what it is. Hopefully, a foiled out shark typhoon. That would be cool. All right, here we go, Ryan. Good luck. Best of luck to you. Ooh, there we go. Finally, we got a nice mythic hit. General Kudro of Dranith. Grumpy old man. Grumpy old man in a special little spot right by over there by himself. All right, here we go. Dire Tactics. Into Luris. Nice. Luris of the Dream Den. Again, that got nerfed, but still super, super good card. It's probably in the $5, $6 range now. That was, I think, sitting around $10 before it got banned, just as a regular rare, which is obviously significant. Death's Oasis. And a foil rare, the Mythos of Aluna once again. There's Seb McKinnon. That's right, I snap my cards. I snap them so they break. Gotta break them in. I like people's cards to be lightly played before they get them. It's the safest way to play. That way you know they're real. And another Yorian Sky Nomad. The Swamper. All right, two more packs. Still looking for that Shark Typhoon or some more Mythics. You have been very light on the Mythics. We'll take Triomes as well. We're not picky. It's a lot of different things we'll root for here. Sprite. Ooh, hoo -hoo, there is a beauty. Another showcase in Dantha. I can't say that. In Dantha Triome. There you go. And a foil behind there. Savai Sabretooth. Well done. That is a good hit. All right, last regular pack here, and we'll take a look at your promo, and then we've got one more to go if you're still sticking around. 
Forbidden Friendship. Another Sprite Dragon. Lord Dracus. And another Triome. Beautiful. Catria Triome. Love hitting these. All right, let's take a look at your promo. Let's see what you got. Ooh! <laughs> Brocos Apex of Forever. That is beautiful. Foil Mythic. Sweet. Big old mutator. That is really cool. Brett's got some cool ideas for that for Commander decks that uh, I don't know if he's shown that one or not. I can't remember. But it is very, very cool. Well, we've got one more here. Let's uh, grab our handy dandy blade and slice into this one and get it going. But yeah, um, I don't know. So far, pretty cool. We haven't had any bomb mythics by any means, but um, you have hit the quite a few of the triomes, which again is kind of really what you're looking for out of these. Right, let's pull these out. What do you think? Oh, we're going to finish with the black dice. So you pretty much hit the rainbow here of the different ones that you can get. Here are your packs. Grab the extras out of the way here. Including that. And your arena code. And that. And here's your little promo. And here we go. Ooh, crumble pack, crumble pack. Probably means there's a luminous brood moth in here. I would have to assume. It's usually what it means. It's a good card. Back for more. Ooh, it's a hunted nightmare. Foily, you go right over there. Go to your foil pile. Foil pile. But yeah, Ryan is. Uh, one of, if not, hey, Ryan might actually be our oldest patron at this point. So give Ryan some love, wish him good luck, and thank him for this video. Into Offspring's Revenge. Gotta look out for that offspring. It's coming for you. Sometimes dead is better. That's right, an early happy Halloween. Brett's favorite holiday. And the eerie ultimatum right on cue. A spooky ultimatum. Come on now, let's see some more mythics. This, these have been crazy light on the mythics. Or a shark typhoon, we will take that. Ooh, there's a mythic, Winona. Winota. Joiner of Forces. That is an excellent mythic. Very cool. That's a mean old card. That's in the four or five dollar range, I want to say. But that is a nasty card to deal with if that is set up properly. Got a turtle. And the Cub Warden. Another mutator. Last regular pack, and then we'll bring it home with the uh, promo there. So good luck, and thank you once again to Ryan. Here we go. What's it going to be? Oh, another Quartzwood Crasher. Well, if you wanted the Quartzwood Crasher, you got him. No doubt about it. All right, let's see what you get here. Ooh, another Foil Mythic. General Kudro of Dranath. He is back once again. So you got a couple of foil mythics out of your promos, so that's pretty sweet. There he is. Grumpy old General Kudro. Sweet. Well, that's uh, that's going to be all for this video. Um, hopefully you guys enjoyed it. Something a little bit different. Uh, we've got a lot more Zendikar Rising to come, so look forward to that. Um, we'll be sprinkling in some other boxes that our patrons are... Um, generously sponsoring for us so we do appreciate that thank you to everyone who's watching and uh, we'll see you next time this has been patrick with booster therapy